When performing linear regression, we usually have a number of data points. Each data point has an output variable, which we'll call y, and then a number of input variables, which we'll call x1 through xn. So in our baseball example, y here is lifetime number of home runs, and our x1 through xn are things like their height and weight. Generally speaking, we're trying to build a model that predicts values of the output variable for each data point by multiplying the input variables by some set of coefficients that we're going to call theta1 through theta n. Each theta, which from here on out we'll call the parameters or weights of our model, tell us how important an input variable is when predicting a value for the output variable. So if theta1 is really small, then x1 is not very important in predicting y, whereas if theta n is very big, then xn is a big contributor to the value of y. This model is built in a way that we multiply each x by the corresponding theta and add them up to get y, so that our equation would look something like this. The best equation is the one that minimizes the difference across all data points between our predicted y and our observed y. What we need to do is find the thetas that produce the best predictions, that is, minimizing this difference. Since our predictions can be too high or too low, rather than just look at the difference between our prediction, which is here the green line, or our actual value, which are these blue dots, we're going to look at the error squared, rather than just the errors themselves, to measure the quality of a set of thetas. The lower the sum of the errors squared, the better. Why don't we make sure that the distinction between input variables and output variables is clear? Say that we had age, weight, height, and batting average of a bunch of Major League Baseball players. We're trying to train our model to predict batting average. What are the input variables? Check all of the boxes corresponding to input variables. 